so today we are making a video on this point os so here is the boot menu of this point os so let's quickly boot it in a live boot so i'm running it on a virtual machine which is a vmware with 60 gb of hard disk 8 gb of ram and my cpu is i5 1240p so the booting process will be taking like uh, maybe two or three minutes in my laptop so that's the basic uh, timing it will consume to load up the linux distro so there will be some mistakes and uh, some misspeaking throughout the video because i'm going to keep the video as raw as possible so that's the reason there will be some mistakes and uh, misspeaking so try to ignore that things and uh, you should be getting a good content so let's wait and see how much of time it consumes so here we have our point OS. so it took more than two minutes so it will be like three and a half minutes so the booting process took like a three and a half minutes so let's uh, open the system monitor and see how much of resource it's consuming so in the system it's uh, here let me open the system monitor so these are all the resources when we boot it up cpu is like this and uh, ram here is my ram it's almost 1.3 gb here are the disk network the gpu and uh, here is sensors so it's a bit of uh, lag there sensors let's keep it the cpu so here are all the process running right now so in the beginning of the video so here are all the system resources so i'm going to keep the system monitor in the right side corner like this so first let's see all those things and uh, let me put the system monitor in the right side corner so you can see all the changes throughout the video so you can judge on that uh, whether to use this uh, linux distro or the specific linux version so here is the services so it completely looks like a linux lite uh, 7.0 so it's a uh, spoink os so but it says as a linux lite i'm going to show uh, the spoink os distro name so here are all the resources cpu and ram as you can see cpu is not pretty much stable right now so average usage 14 percent so let me keep it in the right side corner so you can see all the changes let me try to keep it like this let's try to make it smaller so this is the average uh, we can make so i'm going to keep it like this so and uh, let me open the internet browser we get the chromium browser fail to execute command let's try to see by going to internet here are browsers let me open the web browser i hope it will be opened i guess so instead of waiting let's uh, open the terminal which is linux lite terminal so let me try as you can see it says as a spoink os and the horizon linux so the iso file was named as the horizon let me try to make it bigger so let me type in the commands neofetch so that was the sound from the uh, linux distro itself so we are getting a sounds from the linux distro so it says as a linux lite but uh, it says as a spoink OS horizon linux so let me show everything so let me type in another command which is inxi and uh, hit enter here is some of the information inxi dash small b so here is some of the information host desktop xfce here are uh, some other information you can just pause the video and read everything on your own inxi dash capital f hit enter so here is some of the information inxi dash capital g so let me type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue 
So it says as a Linux Lite 7.0 long term support. And it says the display resolution is 1360 into 768, but uh, I'm using a monitor of 1920 into 1080. So let's see again by typing INXI dash capital G. So as you can see, the resolution is changed again. So let me type the INXI dash SV8. So this command will grab all the information of the distro so you can just pause the video and read everything on your own so i thought it will be different but it's completely linux light 7.0 so let's try to see what are the some of the changes so i'm going to put the system monitor in the right side corner because we changed the system resolution so let's open the installer it says as a Spoink OS 2024.07.20 but it's basically the Linux Lite. Let's see there are some uh, changes or like applications added by the Spoink OS. I can't open the internet browser for some reason. So here is the browser. When I tried to open the browser it didn't open. So I'm not going to uh, install the browser because it's going to take a lot of time. So it will even if it's quick, I'm not going to do that. You can just go to the source forge and try to search Spoink OS and you should be getting the uh, website and ISO files there. And the ISO file name is a horizon and the installer is pretty much same. So there is nothing changed here. When we go back, you should be seeing the welcome screen same as the Linux Lite. Continue. First choose your language and click on continue. And here is the keyboard layout. Choose your language and the variant. Click on continue. If you want to type here to test your keyboard or detect your keyboard, you can do that. So let's click on continue. And the CPU is almost uh, pretty much unstable in this uh, Linux distro. And the installer is also taking a lot of time here. Download updates while installing Spoink OS. Install third party software. So choose according to your wish. Click on continue. It's going to clear, uh, say as the preparing Ubuntu drivers, it's going to take like a 30 to 40 seconds. I'm not going to wait for that. So let's see what are the changes in the applications. So these are all the applications which comes with these point OS and same as in the Linux Lite. So there is nothing changed here and nothing added from this point OS, I guess. So I didn't see any changes here. So I think it's better to go with the Linux Lite instead of uh, going with this uh, Spoink OS. I thought there will be some changes but it's pretty much not pretty much it's almost or completely the Linux Lite. So it says as a Spoink OS but it's a Linux Lite completely. So here are some advanced features. So basically if you don't know the installation on how to install the Linux on the hard disk or a virtual disk you need to watch like a tutorials in the YouTube there will be some videos watch like a four to five videos and you should be good with the installation of a Linux distro in the uh, virtual disk or a hard disk. So I already made a lot of videos of installing in the Linux distro or the Linux distros installing on the hard disk or a virtual disk. But I don't really remember because I almost covered 3000 videos. I don't uh, remember in which video I installed. So it's pretty much very hard to uh, uh, point out in which uh, Linux distro video I installed. And also my videos will be like a 30 plus minutes or 20 plus minutes sometimes. So it's better to watch like a short videos like a 2-3 minutes so you don't get bored. There are a lot of videos available in the YouTube. So check those things and try to install. So basically I'm going to show you the basic, I'm going to tell the basic things about the RS disk and the something else. So RS disk is like a, you need to choose your hard disk or whatever the virtual disk. If you choose the RS disk, it's going to erase everything. Even if you have like a operating system, it's going to erase uh, operating system, media files and everything. And it's going to install this point OS or the specific Linux distro, whatever you uh, trying the Linux distro that will be installed on the hard disk. And it will be like a single boot. So it should be installed in this case point OS and you should be installed with this point OS on the hard disk or a virtual disk. And something else is like a dual boot options or the partition. You need to create a partition before choosing this option and it should be installed uh, with the dual operating systems. One will be the current operating system and other will be this point OS or whatever the Linux is to choose. 
so that was the installing process and if you click on install now it's going to take like a 20 25 minutes depends on the pc if you have a high-end pc it should be very quick if you have like a low-end pc it should be more or less and also if you have like a stable iso file it should be installed without any errors but if you have like a beta or the development iso file sometimes the installation failed so it's not uh, regularly it will be occasionally sometime uh, there will be some bugs you need to understand that a beta version or the development version are filled with uh, bugs so most of the cases everything will be going good but sometimes there will be issues and the installation will be failed so you need to understand about the iso files there so that was the installation so it's pretty much completely linux lite i don't think uh, it's uh, better to show anything here almost every uh, thing is uh, with the linux lite and they are just changed the installation and uh, some things here there is nothing more changed or anything different here it's completely linux lite let's check the wallpapers let's see whether we added with uh, some wallpapers from the spawn quest so if you don't know the linux lite 7.0 i already made a lot of videos on the linux lite and 7.0 version also so if you want you can check it out in my channel so these are all the wallpapers available in the in this distro or maybe from the linux lite also so again everything is same same date and time audio mixer or controller everything is uh, pretty much same language the network connection and panel xfc panel and the version you get is this one properties panel panel preference nothing changed everything is linux lite let's open the file manager file system panel everything is same nothing changed here preference these are all customization things you can customize because it's a xfce desktop environment control panel if you want to execute you can execute so again these are all same things nothing changed i don't know why it's called as a spawn quest when the, everything is same like a linux lite there is nothing changed other than the installer name so as you can see it says as a spawn quest everything is same menu you don't get any uh wallpapers or maybe the additional applications you get the same applications as the linux lite so i don't uh, recommend this distro instead of uh, going with this distro you can go with the linux lite at least you get all the information and everything will be available in that thing so it's better to go with the linux lite so that my that was my thoughts on this uh, linux distro so and it's not a well-known linux distro I just randomly found it on the source food website. So if they added something new here, there will be some changes, but everything is Linux Lite. So there is nothing changed here. So if you want to watch the Linux Lite video, there is already a video in my channel. You can go check it out. So I don't think there is much of anything to show because I already made Linux Lite 7.0. So it's a waste of time to show anything here even the operating system it says as a linux lite kernel version you get the 6.8 so it's better go with the uh, linux lite instead of this point quest so i'm going to end the video because it's uh, clearly the linux lite so i thought something will be changed but uh, there is nothing changed so never go with the name you always need to uh, test it first so that's the reason i always recommend to test the linux distros first and then go with the installation to the main pc or work pc so if you want to still try it you can try it in the virtual machines don't try to install or do anything like that because it's not a known distro instead of this you can go with the uh, linux lite which will be available in the linux lite website you can go download there so the 7.0 is the version or the latest version you will be getting so i'm going to end this video and i'm going to make another video if you want to check that out there will be a video also available as soon as this video is available so again thanks for watching peace out